Dave, so what are some of the problems you see within the BTC project that Decred solves? All right. So I think one of the primary issues is, it, of course, we talk about governance, but I think in more concrete terms, it, it has to do a lot about how decisions get made in terms of changing what really is one of the biggest things that helps give value to the network. And those are known as the consensus rules. Those are the rules that actually dictate exactly what is legal and what is not legal on the network. Uh, I think a lot of times, I'm sure many of the li listeners have heard the, the idea that, you know, it, the math, it's, it's ruled by math. And in, in many ways that is, that is correct, that you have all these rules. However, you know, human governance is a bit messy in the sense that things change over time. You need to upgrade. Uh, new technology comes along that's better. Uh, perhaps there are bugs that are found that need to be dealt with. There are, there are all kinds of scenarios that arise where it is necessary to change some of those, those rules, those consensus rules. And once you start to get into the questions are surrounding that, you really start to see the weaknesses in the Bitcoin system. Um, so, you know, what, what Decred basically has really tried to do is make it very, there's a very clear process and also a, a much fairer process in terms of, of who gets to decide who, who makes those or those changes. Um, a lot of times, if we talk about the, the, the way that this happens in Bitcoin, it's not very clear at all, realistically. I mean, there's a couple of narratives out there that, that actually counter. They go against each other. Um, sometimes people say it's the miners. Sometimes people say it's actually the nodes that decide. Other people say it's the developers. Other people say it's the economic nodes. So there's all these different uh, components. And, and like, But the, the thing is, is when you really start digging into it, you start to realize that there is no clear picture away. It's this whole idea of, the, of what's known as this rough consensus and so, uh, you know, Decred actually, the, the primary aim of the, the governance system and one of the primary reasons we originally created it is specifically to solve that issue. In Decred, we know there's a very set, clear process. You know that the stakeholders are going, you know, a consensus uh, rule change is going to go up for a vote. And uh, we can go more in depth on that. There's a, there's a whole process that it goes through. But the, the, the general idea is that these rules go up for a vote and then stakeholders that have skin in the game, they actually have locked up their coins to purchase tickets. And then these tickets get called randomly and then those, uh, they vote on whether or not those con that consensus rule is going to be accepted or not. And so by doing this, we completely remove the ambiguity and any chance of having, it, uh, like perhaps if, if you believe, regardless of whichever version of the events you want to you want to believe, you do have a ultimately without that type of system, there is a group of people who gets to decide what rules go into the software in Bitcoin. You can argue about who the who that people what uh, who that group is, um, but in the end, somebody has to merge the code, somebody has to make the change. Some they all have to all these people that are involved have to agree. Uh, you know, the node has to be downloaded and so on. So there, there's always, a, there definitely is a group of people. To me, I think that's one of the biggest uh, or the most important things that Decred brought as far as right out of the gate anyway, is the fact that the, the process for making those changes is very clear, very well defined and very fair. 